Store Managers and Maintenance Associates. You use centerfold tiles all over your store for many different applications. Therefore, it is vital to control their usage. Fortunately, you can do that while improving their performance. The purpose of this video is to show you how. There are three common sources of waste, all related to dispensing systems that do not dispense a center pull tile properly. You might find some of these problems in your store as well. The goal of this project is to ensure that every dispenser in your store dispenses center pull tiles one at a time. Everything you need to address these problems is available inexpensively in GNFR. The first potential problem with the biggest savings opportunity is the stainless wall unit dispensers in your restrooms made by American Specialties Inc. or ASI. Your store may also have units made by Bradley Corporation which are not a problem. You can identify a Bradley unit by the large round plastic tray hanging out of the bottom of the cabinet. If you have an ASI unit, make sure that it has a retrofit kit installed in it. Many already do. If your ASI units do not already have a retrofit kit installed, simply open the cabinet door, remove the towel, and insert a retrofit kit. The kit is designed to fit quite snugly, so don't worry if it is a tight fit. Push the retrofit kit down firmly to seat it in place. You'll know if you installed it properly if the cone protrudes through the hole in the metal and is slanted forward at a slight angle. If you encounter a situation where you have all or part of an existing cone, you must first remove the cone. The plastic from which these cones are made is quite soft, so you will find it very easy to pop out with a flathead screwdriver. Then install the retrofit kit exactly as described earlier. The second source of waste in your store may be with a Vondrell center pull tile dispenser that is intact, but somehow the cone has been compromised. Sometimes well-meaning maintenance associates have either cut the cone or removed it completely. In these cases, all you have to do is open the dispenser, remove the towel, slide out the compromised tray and cone assembly, and insert a replacement tray and cone assembly in its place. The third and final possible source of waste you may encounter in your store is an old center pull tile dispenser from Stefco, a company that no longer exists. These dispensers are very old and almost always dispense tiles continuously. In these cases, simply replace every one of these old dispensers with a brand new Vondrell dispenser. To replace a Stefco dispenser with a new Vondrell dispenser, simply remove the old dispenser. No need to worry about damaging it since you are throwing it out anyway, so you can just use a screwdriver. Using the same holes and hardware, mount the Vondrell dispenser back plate. Use at least three screws to make sure the dispenser is secure. Finally, mount the new Vondrell dispenser onto the back plate. It's generally easiest to do if you line up the keyholes with the tabs on the back plate, push the dispenser onto the back plate, and seat it by pushing down firmly. One last cost saving tip before we conclude. Anytime you have a partially used roll that you take out of a dispenser, just stick it on a cleaning cart or under a register. They always need tiles in both of those places and there is no reason to give them a new roll. We hope you found this information useful. If you take full advantage of it, we're sure you will reduce your center pull tile usage. Everything you need Dispensers, replacement trays, and retrofit kits are available inexpensively in GNFR. Thank you for your time. Good luck in your quest to both reduce the cost and improve the performance of this important convenience for your customers and associates.